Good morning to you both. We're told that the mayor will be making an announcement around 1230 in the Bronx on who the new chancellor will be. Our sources are telling us it's Melissa Aviles Ramos, who's a retired or actually a former English teacher for the last 20 years turned DOE employee. She's currently a deputy chancellor. This comes after a bombshell announcement from the current school's chancellor less than a month after school started. In this letter to Mayor Adams, the New York City Schools Chancellor, David Banks, announces his retirement at the end of 2024, smack dab in the middle of the school year. The chancellor's resignation not only follows a number of people stepping down from the mayor's inner circle, it comes three weeks after the FBI raided the home he shares with his partner, First Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright. During that search, the FBI took both their cell phones and electronic devices. Banks and his two brothers, Philip, who serves as the city's deputy mayor for public safety, and their brother Terrence, an advisor and former supervisor to the city's subway system, were all included in a federal investigation where phones were seized. Banks' resignation comes amid other recent high-profile exits from top positions in the Adams administration, including Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh, Police Commissioner Ed Caban, Corporation Counsel Sylvia Hines Radix, Chief Counsel Lisa Zornberg, and Health Commissioner Ashwin Vassen. All of it happening as Mayor Adams remains under federal investigation for allegedly taking illegal campaign donations from the Turkish government. It doesn't do a lot for the confidence of regular New Yorkers. I think it is unprecedented in recent New York City history. It can be compared to like when Nixon was about to resign, a lot of the, his top brass also stepped away. So it's more like a um, you know, like, you know, when animals go crazy before an earthquake, it's a sign that things are not well. Mayor Adams was asked about the resignations Tuesday morning at City Hall before news broke of Banks' retirement. Three years of being on the front line. This is wear and tear. And so I think that the natural transition that people say, I want to do something else with my life. Banks, a former teacher, principal, and founder of an all-boys network of schools, has led the nation's largest school system since 2022. The head of the teachers union releasing a statement saying, now more than ever, we need to focus on doing the work that our students, educators, and public schools deserve, thanking the chancellor for his partnership, wishing him well. Senator John Liu oversees the Senate Committee of New York City Education and says banks stepping down is terrible timing and raises renewed questions about whether mayoral control is the best form of school governance. Of course, this is something that all parents should have their eyes on because the school's chancellor started a number of new initiatives, including how to read and how students will now do math. All of this comes at a time where school started less than three weeks ago for New York City public schools. A million students here watching to see who their new leader is. That replacement announcement comes at 1230 in the Bronx. Again, we believe, according to our sources, that it's Melissa Aviles Ramos, a current deputy chancellor within the system. Guys, we'll send it back to you.